Hi everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this video, we're going to look at some easy ways to get up from the floor after knee replacement surgery. Hi everyone, so in this video, we're looking at getting yourself up from the floor after knee replacement surgery. So in most instances, you probably aren't spending too much time on the floor. And when you do end up on the floor, it's probably for uh, some negative reason. Um, you might have fallen, something bad happened, and now you're on the floor and you have to get up. So the couple things to keep in mind overall is one, you just want to take your time. You want to be patient. It's not an emergency. You can take your time. You can't fall down any further than you already are. So just one, take your time, go slow, figure things out. Don't have to rush. Another thing to keep in mind is your best option first is if you have furniture nearby, if you have a couch, um, a chair, an ottoman, something like that, that's going to be your easiest and best way to get up with the most ease and less discomfort. So for example, basically getting yourself, scooting your bottom or however you need to get in front of your couch, get in front of the chair. And so for example, let me show you. So you get yourself into the chair and then you can either kind of just pull yourself up like this and walk up. You can twist your legs around and come onto your knees and then step up like this. There's a lot of different options if you have a chair or a couch or something to use like that. Another thing to look at is if you are near steps or can get to steps, that you can use that. So I'll use the stool to show you here today. So for example, you fall somewhere and you're able to kind of scoot yourself over to the stairs. And so now of course the stairs are gonna be a little bit lower. And what you can do is then use your arms, scoot yourself up onto that step and then obviously if you have a staircase, then you'll have steps going up. So then you can scoot up, scoot, and then um, scoot yourself up to the next higher step. And eventually you'll be up where you're at a place where you're sitting up a little bit higher and then you can stand up nice and comfortably. So for example, let's pretend this is the next step up. Or even if you just have a stool and can do it this way. So for example, you scoot yourself up to the first step and then you scoot yourself up to the second step and then probably from there you can get yourself up and stand up or you might even just scoot up to the third step and go from there. So that's the way to use the steps to get up. So now let's look at an example of you're kind of in the middle of nowhere, you don't have any furniture, you don't have a step nearby and you just have to get yourself up. So. There's a couple of different things you can do. Um, the first thing I'll show you is if you're able to tolerate kneeling and being in a kneeling position, at least for, you know, you wanna keep in mind that this is gonna be very brief just for a matter of seconds. Um, even if kneeling is uncomfortable and painful, um, you know, it's just, you know, this is a, you know, unfortunate circumstance and you just need to kneel for a second and get yourself up and then that's that. So this is if you can get comfortable with kneeling. So one way to do it is you just kind of turn your body. So bring your arms to one side, turn your body and torso, and come on to this kind of all fours or quadruped position. From here, you can do a couple different things. You can walk your hands up so you're in kind of this tall kneeling position and then you can bring your foot up like this, 
Or another option is you can just stay in this position and bring the foot up first and then walk the hands up. Now, should you go onto your surgical leg? Should you bring your surgical leg up or should you bring your non-surgical leg up? Well, it really depends on what's more comfortable for you. The leg that comes up when you're in this kneeling position, this leg is gonna be the one that's gonna do the most work and is gonna push you up into standing. So ideally, you'd wanna use your strongest leg so your non-surgical leg would be up. A lot of individuals though, they really are uncomfortable and can't tolerate kneeling on their surgical leg like this. So they might just decide to use the surgical leg as the top leg and just power through it kind of, even though it might be a little bit weaker than the other leg. So there's that. And then another option, if you're trying to get into that on all fours, that quadruped position, instead of kind of turning your whole body like this, you can also just kind of do this, wrapping the legs around and then kind of coming up like this as well. But the end goal in all of these is to go from this position on all fours to kneeling position. And now once you're in kneeling, what you're gonna do is put your hands right on the leg that's up. You're gonna push through this leg and you're just gonna push right up into a standing position. So that's if you're able to kneel on one leg or the other, you're comfortable with that. Um, that's kind of the best way to do it. Now, an alternative option is to just kind of bypass the kneeling on either knee and just kind of get yourself into this bear crawl position or like a leapfrog position. So there's a couple different ways that you can do that. So again, you're bringing the arms over and you can kind of just come up here and then kind of scoot your legs up like this. And then once you kind of get in this bear crawl position, so again, you're here and you're kind of just bringing the leg over. Once you're in this position, a couple of different ways you can do it. Probably the easiest way is to walk your hands back and then push up. Um, another option is if you're comfortable and strong is to get here and then just kind of stand right up instead of bringing your hands back. So different ways that way. Um, but honestly, that's another option if you can't tolerate the kneeling. It's just basically twisting your body, getting, you know, not going onto your knees, but just coming up into this position, getting your feet underneath you, getting your hands back as best you can tolerate, and then just using your feet and your hands to kind of push yourself up at the same time. Another option too, is you can go into this quadruped or all fours position and from here you can just kind of lift the legs up and get right back into that kind of bear crawl leapfrog position as well. All right so that's some different options and then if you want you can really kind of get fancy but obviously we're probably not looking for the most fancy technique we're looking for one that is takes the least amount of effort but you can do things like if you're able to bend your knees and then kind of just push up like this. Um, you know, if you have good trunk stability, you know, there's a lot of different ways, but those ways that I just showed you, um, either trying to twist your body or twist your legs and body at the same time and getting into that all fours position or quadruped, and then getting into the kneeling position or the alternative if you can't tolerate the kneeling is getting into that bear crawl or leapfrog position and pushing up from there and then of course if you have furniture available if you have steps available take advantage of those use those that's going to make it a lot easier you can pull up with your arms and not put as much stress and pressure through the legs so those are my best ways for getting up from the floor after knee replacement surgery. Thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day.